Hi Aries, it's L here to do your present energy. Uh, April going into May. Um, I've got two spreads here, one for love, one for career and finance. Let's jump right into it. Uh, thank you to those who support, uh, like the the uh, videos, who subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe, please like. It means a lot. Um, let's get into it. So. For love, we have the Page of Swords. So we have, we have either Aries or maybe Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be someone spying. Now this is the spying or gathering research or getting more research or getting more information in regards to looking on social media asking around about you doing a tarot card reading about you asking about you uh to a tarot card reader psychic therapist whatever um just someone keeping you in the in their energy by way of of you know uh, secretly inquiring about you or vice versa. Uh, you're doing this about someone else, okay? Uh, also, you may have air sign children. Or young children or children that you... Young adult children that um, maybe the communication is not so great with right now. Alright, so for love... And this is in love. So, this is just strictly love. We have the tower... Some unexpected, unforeseen event. Three of Cups. Okay. The Hermit. Lots of major arcana. Um, then we have the Six of Swords. Then the outcome, three cards fell out. Strength, the Moon, and the Judgment. All these major arcana. So there is something in love that is happening out of your control there may be an unexpected reconciliation uh, this could be platonic love this could be romantic there is a coming back together there is um, uh, a cause to rejoice in love maybe with a cancer Pisces Scorpio um, something unforeseen unfortunate maybe happened in their energy in their life or yours and now there is cause for let's start to recreate um emotionally spiritually there might be upheaval in your world or in theirs or both and now it's causing you to long for a reconciliation you or they so you change the energy how you want to then we have the hermit and the six of sword so there is separation here between you and another individual could be a Virgo doesn't have to be Gemini Libra Aquarius Cancer Pisces Scorpio Scorpio here definitely um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, I mean, uh, whomever. Someone is, this could be in your family too. In the midst of celebration, there's upheaval. It causes the Aries to go into the hermit mode causes you to withdraw to think about past experience what do I do to move this forward possibly in a new direction that doesn't get me the same results that I got with said situation one that gets me to peace serenity a more calm state in my friendships in my family um, and what I'm trying to create for myself and my environment. I am making the choice to have peace in this. 
I made the choice to have peace with this, whatever this may be, a long time ago. There may be an Aries who walked away from a situation that just wasn't yielding them exactly what they wanted. It could have been third party. It could have been a situation where Aries couldn't get out of the case of the threes. All we do is just, you know, we try to build, we build, we try to create, we have fun, or there's emotional fulfillment. We're spending time, energy, and effort together. We're trying to grow this. Uh, but there's still division, division uh, of the heart and the mind because maybe there's something or someone else in the energy can't get out of the threes. I just named all the threes, the three of swords, the three of cups, the three of wands, the three of pentacles. So the Aries may have departed from that energy and said, you know what? I can't get to real stability, the fours. So I'm just going to separate from this. I can't spin my wheels or spin myself out in a situation. This is love. Love can be platonic or romantic. It could be friendship, family, okay? So the outcome is that Aries, you walked away or some or vice versa, somebody walked away from you. Something, someone, some situation, platonic or romantic, but it has to do with the emotion of love and romance. One, the universe wants you to look at this situation with a new set of eyes. Judge it righteously. Do the right thing. Judgment is here. It's come back around for you full circle. Maybe this is an Aries who always internalizes everything. Tries to help a situation. But in the same regard makes the situation all about them so there's a level of self-centeredness or someone does this to you aries there was always and this may be mom issues this may be issues of mental health mental and emotional health you're going to have to be strong and courageous in tackling whatever this is because it's manifesting the same way maybe in a different person a different person with same circumstances and or someone wants to come back they want a do-over they have deep emotions the emotions run deep for you Things may have ended because you guys wanted the same thing, but you were very different. One of you, sh you shine at night, the other shines in the day. The yin, the yang, you couldn't figure out how to harmoniously marry the two energies. So now the universe brings it back to you. I'm speaking to two separate areas. Somebody who's dealing with a situation of um, some long-standing issues. And then someone who's dealing with a situation of um, maybe this was a romantic situation. It's coming back around. It may even be manifesting the same way in a different person or a different way in the same person. Um, you're going to have to be courageous. We're going to clarify over the website. What is this courageousness about? If that's a word. What do you have to be courageous about? Um, what do you have to be strong about? What do you have to be... The Aries has to tame their ego in regards to something being cyclical. That, that infinity sign. The eight. Something coming back around again or someone coming back around they may have said that they've changed I don't know let's jump into career and finance <clears throat> nine of cups at the bottom of the deck so the Aries feels that they are without the highest level of happiness that tenth cup they are hoping wishing praying for manifesting wish fulfillment here it very well may come for you. 
Then we have the Temperance. Nice. The Prince of Swords. Even better. The Starman. The Magician. And the Princess of Pentacles. So, so this is a situation for a particular Aries where... Someone's trying to make the best of someone feels like They're doing the same thing. I just want to articul articulate this right. Somebody's doing the same type of job. But they may be doing it on a level where they feel like now I'm on my divine path or, or something divine or spiritual or something uh em emotional there's emotional fulfillment now there's compromise there's the changing of hands is there there's the um the same energy spent in doing something now i feel good about it this could have been a career change or just a job change and it could have come in abruptly for you some of you, you manifested this, you did some work, some light magic, you know, candle work, incense, prayer, meditation, stones. It's still very new. Princess of Pentacle. Whatever this is, it's still very new. You found that stability was elsewhere. This is an Aries who just recently made a career move or a job move. And they, and they found a lot of fulfillment in it. Now it's about cultivating the highest level of happiness here. It's about even mo moving further up for the Aries. There is an Aries here asserting themselves in this new position. They're finding compromise and balance and they're finding peace. They feel like something marries them on a soul level. It's perfect right now. They're, they're cultivating or trying to bring in, <clears throat> bring in even more. So you may have a business or a business idea. You're trying to get off the ground. Um, you may be in a new position. It's good, but you see where it can be great. And you're going to move toward that. You can have a business and things are good, but it, you now you see where it can be even better or great or greater for the Aries. Um, we're going to go over to the website to see what this career and finance is about. Also, this love where there may be something or someone coming back around. Or there may be some issue in regards to friend family that you need to you need to judge righteously. And maybe an, an ex coming back who wants to give things a second go around. All right. Or vice versa. You want to do that. So go ahead and meet me on the other side, Aries. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys. All links are below. It's always $2 to get um, more clarity about your situation if you feel like it's resonating thus far. Okay? Take care, guys.